This is the I Suck It Overlanding podcast. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about a parts list for uh, my 2023 Toyota 4Runner TRD Off-Road. Yeah, this is going to be the complete parts list so far. Um, I don't have everything insta installed on this yet, but they're coming. It's in the mail. I do have a lot of this stuff on it already, but still waiting on a bunch of stuff, but we're going to go over that today. And welcome. What is going on, everybody? Phil from the I Suck at Overlanding podcast. Welcome. It is a kind of dreary morning. It's raining a little bit. It's right around 68, 70 degrees here. So I figured, hey, let's make a podcast. And today uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the parts list uh, that I have for the Forerunner. And again, this is just what I want on there. You guys can make your own decisions on what you want. Yeah, this is the way I'm going to run my vehicle. I made the decision that when I go on my overlanding trips, I want to camp in my Forerunner. I don't want to have to deal with a rooftop tent. This is my everyday vehicle, so I don't want to have to keep putting on and taking off, you know, a rooftop tent. Those are, those weigh a lot. So, all right, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is already on the vehicle. Uh, I have a TRD Pro grill that I put on, and then I added, uh, the brass letters, the overlays for the front of it, because I have uh, I have a brass kind of a bronze theme going on the Forerunner, which if you guys follow me on YouTube, <clears throat> I do have a lot of videos on there of everything I'm installing on the Forerunner. So if you guys want to follow me there, my YouTube channel is Bad River Runner. If you guys want to subscribe, I'm gonna have updates for everything on that thing all right i did install mickey thompson tires so far so good um i do belong to a lot of forerunner forms and i did notice especially in the beginning i only have about 100 miles on them so they haven't really broken in yet but uh I do notice a little bit of shaking with them, but I'm hopefully that corrects itself. Otherwise I'll have to get them rebalanced or what have you, but so far so good, pretty good tires. Uh, the wheel choice that I did, uh, if you guys have seen, uh, this year, they came out with the 40th anniversary forerunner and that came with that, you know, retro stripe thing and it came with these bronze wheels that instead of saying TRD, the the uh, center cap, it says Toyota. It looks, it looks retro, it looks older, and it just looks so good uh, with the blue on my Forerunner. Because my Forerunner is nautical blue. Oh, it just, it looks amazing. And that's on my YouTube channel as well. If you guys want to check it out, it's, it's awesome. All right, uh, I did order... Uh, Cali raised uh, rear cargo, like the rack for the inside. So it's kind of got the molly panels, the metal molly panels, and then I'm going to have a, a storage bar going across the top to store like blankets, sleeping bags, stuff like that. Um, I ordered that from Forerunner Lifestyle. I'm not sure what, it didn't say it was on backward or anything. I ordered that thing like three weeks ago and they haven't even shipped it yet. So I'm not sure what the issue is. <clears throat> I did order some other stuff from there that it shipped right away. So I don't know if they screwed up my order or whatever. Uh, the other stuff I ordered from there, I ordered some bug screens for the uh, windows so that you can roll down your windows and not have bugs fly in there, you know. And then I also ordered uh, a mattress. So it's kind of like a air mattress with memory foam. So you blow it up but it's also memory foam. Um, I think it's called Deep Sleep Overlanding. I think that's the name of the company, but, and I ordered one, uh, 
I ordered one half, so I didn't get the full two set mattress because it's just going to be me. So I'm going to I'm going to store all my other stuff on the other side, because if you have a full mattress in there, it's hard to store your gear. You know what I mean? We will see how that goes. Uh, that is on back order, so I won't get that for a little while. Uh, I did change out the front and rear valence. So on the TRD off-road, the front and rear valence is silver to kind of match with the stock wheels that are on there. And they just look, I don't know, I think it looks kind of tacky. I So if you guys know the TRD Pros come with a black front and rear valence, which I did order from Toyota and I, I installed those. Makes it look hell of a lot better. I did install uh, a black uh, shift knob for the transmission and for the transfer case. So those were TRD shift knobs before, but they were silver, which I don't like silver. So I got the black ones to make it more look more streamlined inside there because it's mainly blacked out inside there. Uh, I did order a TRD skid plate. I have not put that on yet. Uh, I was thinking about ordering from a different company that makes them. It's not from Toyota. This particular company makes them, but they also black them out. And I was like, man, I'm like, that looks so cool because the TRD skid plate you order from Toyota, you can only get it in the silver aluminum color, which it is what it is. I could paint it too, but it's just kind of a pain. So I'm going to be installing that soon. Uh, I did also order a TRD cold air intake for the 4Runner. I haven't installed that either. I'm picking a day when to install that because it's a little bit more uh, in depth than a regular cold air. I don't know. Toyotas are, are a little bit different with when it comes to cold air intakes. You just got to install a couple more things. But uh, I did also order a security liner. So, like, if I'm in the car, it's like a kind of a curtain for the front seats. So if I'm sleeping in the back, I can just fold the curtain over so that, you know, sunlight doesn't get in and I can sleep a little bit longer if I want to. And I'm also planning on tinting the windows. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to match it to the rear or if I'm just going to do a complete... Uh, different tint for the forerunner i haven't decided since i'm going to be doing a lot of traveling in the forerunner and sleeping out of it i'm thinking maybe going a little bit darker just so people don't look in you know my truck and see me sleeping in there or see my equipment or whatever a little bit more security yeah i mean i'm sure this parts list is going to grow um i also do have the fox uh suspension that comes with the TRD Pro. I did order that. I haven't decided when I'm going to put that on there yet. I'll probably wait till I kind of finish with my Forerunner of what I'm going to do and I start actually traveling with it. I think that's when I'm going to get them put on. Because I heard with the TRD uh, Pro suspension, it's a little bit more stiffer ride, which if you guys know Forerunners, I mean, they're kind of stiffer already especially if you don't have KDSS suspension. So yeah, going to be waiting for that, see how it goes. And the stock suspension, I might just keep those just in case. You know, let's say I really hate the TRD Pro suspension. I, you know, I might not use it, you know. Um, as far as the tire size um, for the 4Runner, I went with the stock tire size. I'm not planning on doing a huge lift or anything like that. Because the research I've done, you start lifting forerunners and you start to cause other problems, you know. The geometry of the vehicle is kind of off and you start wearing out parts prematurely. And I'm not planning on going rock crawling with this thing. You know, I'm going to be going off the beaten path, but I'm not going to be doing crazy things that, you know, I wouldn't normally do. You know, this is an adventure rig. I want to go where I want to go, but I'm not going to be climbing over, you know, a five-foot boulder with it. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, about 
this parts list and if you guys like it if you guys have any other pointers for me since i'm going to be camping outside of this outside i'm going to be camping inside of the forerunner so yeah let me know what you guys think like i said uh bad river runner my youtube channel I'm going to have installation videos and everything I put on the Forerunner. When I go on my first adventure, I'm going to be recording that as well. And these podcasts are on Apple and Spotify and all that stuff. And you can watch this on YouTube as well. But I appreciate you guys joining me. If you guys like this content, uh, please like, subscribe, and wherever you get your podcasts, please share me if you guys like this. And the next episode, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but uh, we'll see. <laughs> and you guys have a wonderful day and be safe.